Hi YouTube, it's Brie or Brie Mona, whichever tickles your fancy. We're doing a let's play for my Sims. And y'all, when I tell you, I'm freaking obsessed with this game. I literally dream about this game, think about this game, think about all the new CC I can download. Literally, there's just so much to do in the Sims. And with the new For Rent pack out, I'm just adding in all of that other goodness as well. So um, I'm so excited to start this let's play. I think it's gonna be more of kind of like letting you guys know about my whole family. So I made a family tree. We're not gonna go through the whole tree, but I wanna go through all of like the main like Sims and characters and things like that. So you guys can be all up to date with my Sims legacy um, household. I'm just so excited to really dive into the wedding aspect. My Sim literally like she just graduated college. Her and her boyfriend are doing great. And I think he's going to pop the question soon. <laughs> I can't wait. Like it's going to be like so great. I really want to focus on like my wedding stories because I just got the pack because I don't be paying a full price for the pack. I always wait till it's on sale. You know what I mean? Um, so I just got my wedding story. So I really want to try that out. And there's a whole bunch of different kind of like mods and things surrounded around like getting married and like the whole process of like being engaged and like going through all of that. So I want to do everything with my sim and uh, I want to bring you guys along for the ride. I'm so excited to get this Let's Play started. This is my very first one. So I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna go after it. Okay, we're just gonna go after it, bro. If there's any kind of other suggestions or any other things that you guys would like to see in a Let's Play that you might have seen in other Let's Plays that you really want me to do or try out because it's my first one, let me know down in the comments down below. So definitely make sure to subscribe down below as well so you don't miss any other Let's Play. And also um, turn on the notification bell as well. Might as well, you know. I think that we probably should get started with the family tree just so you guys can know who's everybody in my family. This is simslegacyhub.com. Um, I forgot who I found this video from, um, but I was kind of just like looking through and trying to make like a family tree so I could have like all the history and everything uh, with all of my Sims and my legacy gameplay. It's just a great website if you have like legacy gameplay that you want to like put all of your information into one giant hub area. So we're gonna start off at the top with um, my two sims that I started with, Shayna and Benjamin Harding. So um, they're basically just like the most like cutest like little couple. It was like love at first sight, okay? Like they have been together ever since. And um, they had two children. Um, first starting off with London. Uh, she's the oldest. She's very smart. Great. Like genius. Okay. Like she's like a tech guru genius. Like she is like, she top dog. Um, then they had a son named Gunner. Gunner is just kind of like the total <laughs> opposite. He just like did not know what he wanted to do with his life or anything. So he, I kind of just like let him do whatever. And yeah, some stuff happened because yeah, like he just, all of a sudden he got to do whatever and all of a sudden like he has like this whole family that I didn't even know about but we'll get into that later. So London actually met Takumi, her husband, in college and they had two kids, Hava and Dennis and of course they got married and had children but we won't go into like all of like their family but London you know she had a great life, had grandkids and everything which is like great. Um, and then Gunnar like he met someone um, I, don't, I never really played with him. I kind of just let him do his own thing. And he met some lady and I guess that they went out for like a little bit and they had two kids, Dwayne and Daquan of all names. They're not even black too. They're just like, <laughs> with Benjamin, I mean, they are, um, was that a quarter black or so? But still like the names were just very interesting when I saw that, I was like, really? Dwayne and Daquan, that's just, it's very interesting. <laughs> Shayna had actually um, called London while she was in school and she was like, hey, you know, like we're thinking about having another baby, maybe like, um, how do you feel about this? Like, should we? And I never got that pop up before. So I was like, oh, yeah, go ahead. Like not knowing <laughs> what was actually going to happen. But um, they ended up having a third child um, who's Malaya. So we're actually going to focus on Malaya's family. 
Um, and basically, Malaya, she married Shinkiru. Her daughter, Naomi, is going to be the main sim that we're really going to be focusing on going through like her whole life and which is going to get married. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. But to tell you something about this side of the family tree, <laughs> it's quite insane already. Um, she really wanted to focus into acting. She um, loved acting. Like she wasn't really in to acting for like all the fame and all the money and everything like she just really loved like the art of like acting and being an actress and really perfecting her craft so ever since she was a child like she's been loving acting never skipped a day of acting class so she went off to college she really told her parents like hey i really want to pursue acting i've been doing it ever since i was young like i really want to go after it and of course you know Shayna and benjamin they are like the most supportive like parents ever so when malaya was in college she was dating this guy derek and we have to add Derek into the mix <laughs> because Derek um, was who she was dating out of high school. They were going to try to, you know, work it out when they went to college. Um, but the distance and everything was very kind of hard and strenuous to their relationship. She got this text message. And if some of you guys have got this text message before, um, it's basically that text saying like, oh, you have this big inheritance. Um, do you want to claim the inheritance? Like your past uncle, grandpa, son-in-law, whatever has this inheritance for you. Do you want to claim it? Like, what do you want to do? And of course me, I was like, I want the money. Give me the money <laughs> to claim this inheritance. You had to get married to someone in seven days. Bruh, are you serious right now? Seven days? So basically, Malaya had a very difficult situation. She was literally in her, I think, sophomore year of college and had to think like, oh my gosh, am I going to get married? Like, do I want to get the claim this inheritance? How much is it going to be? Do I just not? Do I just want to focus on school? So she was thinking like, oh, like, you know, like Derek, he's amazing. I really, you know, still want to be with him why don't we get married to Derek? So she was thinking about that all night and she's like, the next morning we're gonna hang out. I'm gonna talk to him and tell him about the situation and then see if he agrees on getting married within the next couple of days. <laughs> Literally the next morning, kid you not, the next morning, Derek calls us and basically says, Oh, like, hey, uh, Malia, so um, I want you to come over so you can meet my daughter. Oh, my Lanta, my daughter, bro. So Malaya was literally so <laughs> upset. She was like, what are you talking about? I'm away to college. You have a daughter? Who is the baby mama? Like she was already super stressed about all of this. Then th she was just like, you know what? I just can't take this anymore. We're breaking up. So she literally ended things with Derek and now they are exes. <laughs> so that's why it says ex there. She had two more days to see if she wanted to get married or anything. She was like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna call up Derek. I'm gonna, you know, talk with him or whatever. So it turns out that um, Derek's like daughter that he wanted us to come and meet, um, she was adopted. Daughter um, was in a very, you know, Bad home, was in foster care um, almost like all of her young life. And Derek just did the most amazing thing any human being could do <laughs> and adopted her to get her out of this, you know, situation and give her a great life with his family because knew that his family was like great and he really just wanted to take care of her. So yeah, Malaya felt terrible. <laughs> like literally she just like exploded on him when he adopted a daughter, didn't, you know, cheat on her with someone else and got someone else pregnant um she just couldn't like go back and be like you know so she was like you know like we already have like this like now like bad blood between us since i like came over and like snapped at him she was like i just don't know what i'm gonna do i have like two more days left to see you know if i want to still get married or what's gonna happen so enter shingiru shingiru and malaya were pretty much friends they stayed in the same like dorm like area um pretty much like her uh 
freshman and into her sophomore year. So they were really good friends. And she was really just coming to Shingiru like, hey, you know, um, I'm just like super stressed and super like upset and things like that. He's like, you wouldn't even believe I got like this like message or something just saying like, man, do I want to get married in like a couple days and whatever um, to, you know, claim this inheritance. But, you know, it's like there's nobody that, you know, I'm going to get. So I'm just, you know, like it's super, it's, it's whatever, you know, she's just like telling him about it, you know, and Shakira was like, you know, I kind of like you. Um, I mean, it's, it's not just for the inheritance. I'm not just saying this for the inheritance, but, you know, since you kind of like brought it up and, you know, we're just kind of talking about it, you know, I just wanted to let you know, I kind of like you. And, um, I've always been like thinking about you in this way. And, um, I mean, marriage is like a huge step, but like, what do you like think? And after like a couple days, they were like chatting and, you know, going out and like literally the day of, she was like, you know what? We're going in. We're going. <laughs> Leah and Shigeru got married. It's such a crazy story that they're literally still together. They're older as of right now. They really wanted to have children. <clears throat> so they first welcomed their newest born, Naomi. But she was like, man, like, Shinkiri, I really want more children. Like, Naomi's just great, but like, I want her to have sisters and brothers. Um, so, yeah, um, they had some kids. <laughs> Afterwards, they had triplets when Naomi was just a child. Literally, when I got the pop-up, I was like, okay, one, nice. Two, oh my gosh, nice. When I got the third one, I was like, how am I gonna take care of all these kids? I was about to delete Archie, I'm sorry. I, I, we were going to delete Archie, but I'm glad that I didn't because Archie, he's living his best life. He's he's a little troublemaker, but you know, like Shingiru's putting him in check. <laughs> Marlo, um, she is just, she struggles a little bit in school, but um, she asked like her sister Elion, you know, for a lot of things because Elion and Marlo have always been close um, since they were younger and Archie kind of felt a little left out, but Elion was always super like close to Archie, but like, hey, like, you know, like, even though like I'm really, really close to like Marlo, you know, we always kind of did things together just because like they're girls and like they always kind of did things together, even though their personalities are very different. But Naomi, who we're really focusing on, the center of everything you know <laughs> the center um she met david in high school graduated early uh she wasn't really like too worried about like having like a graduating ceremony she really just wanted to like just get her life started you know so um naomi she went off to college and um, she was still dating david at the time because they met in, in high school and they were like high school's like sweetheart it's like they always like hung out together and David always came by like the house and Malaya and Shingiru like really liked David but when Naomi went off to college David was super sad didn't want to do the whole long distance thing like he was just like so like he wanted to like go with her but of course like he was still finishing up like high school like of course Naomi's like super smart goals and graduated early and he just wasn't there like in his life like at that point in his life he did go and visit Naomi a couple times but he was always just like super grumpy and um they kind of just didn't really like have that same kind of relationship that they had when they were in high school um so yeah David was super sad um that about Naomi leaving but um Naomi she finally finished college he came to his graduation they took pictures um and it was just like it was so cute um that he was like you know what like I, I still support you I just like hate that you know we can't have um you know like us being together like we can't have that actual like connection like anymore that's being taken away from us but like at least you're going and pursuing your dreams and finishing out uh college and doing all that and I i'm going to college too and i'm just going later I, I really am like happy that you're able to do that naomi was just like david you're so good since y'all got an earful of all the family and, <laughs> and everything that's gotta happen we should talk about this. Um, so y'all saw that um, Malaya and Derek, <clears throat> they used to go out and you know, he had the baby. She thought that he was cheating on her. He's just a great human being and adopted a child. And yeah, they used to go out. So um, I didn't realize it until 
I was kind of making the family tree, but um, Derek is actually the father of David. Huh? Crazy. Okay, so let's break this down. <laughs> so we already got some tension. We already got some drama, y'all. Just jumping into this. We already got some drama. So basically, Derek, when um, him and Malaya broke up, he uh, actually got married um, to this lady. I don't remember her name, but they actually have a son together. And I don't want to forget to mention that she actually unfortunately passed away. So Derek and his son were actually like on their own until he met this other lady. And this other lady already had david his two sisters and um david's brother so she already had four kids but derek really really like fell in love with her and really wanted them to be together he's like hey like you have four kids i have a kid like at this point of our life like we should really like look out for ourselves and really just you know want love for ourselves now like david is derek's stepson which is crazy but um We'll get more into like Derek and um, his like wife, but like Derek has known David for quite a bit of years now. Um, and after only a couple of years, um, maybe about like two or three years of them being married, she just left. She packed up her things and she was gone. Like um, Derek has no idea what happened, where she at. Now he's just left with his son plus all of her four children. So Derek was just going through so much with like her leaving, him having to take care of like all of the children, like all by himself. David's always kind of just been holding in this resentment towards his mother for all these years. Um, as well as like his other like siblings. Some of his sisters were kind of just more like, you know like it's it's whatever it's fine i'm just gonna move on with my life but david's just like i need answers i need, like where is she like what's happening um but he's kind of just like always kind of been thinking about it for all these years and that's kind of like brought them all closer together too because they all like the siblings kind of realize like hey you know like it's just like derek now like is you know it's just our dad like we have to like try to help him out and really get him through it too while we're going through these trials and tribulations as well yeah that's basically everything so far but um yeah y'all we're getting into it and that concludes my family tree video hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you're able to keep up with who's who we will definitely get to meet more of naomi's friends and of course her best friend simone so that will be an episode one i'm literally so excited for you guys to see it so definitely make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in episode one bye